A critical model that we at Athlete Assessments have developed and utilised as the foundation for all of our work with our coaches and our teams and individual athletes is the model which we call the SBR model. Now this model is utilised to understand how we need to adapt to varying conditions and varying situations. If you have a look at the top performers in any sport or any endeavour for that matter, what makes them a great performer is their ability to adapt. I often use the example of whether it's Roger Federer or the Williams sisters in tennis, the fact is what makes them able to beat any component on any court on any given day is their ability to be able to adapt to the situations, the changing circumstances, the court surface and to be able to adapt to different styles of play that they're facing from their fellow athletes. I'll grant that this is a rare condition that very few athletes obviously get to the standard of these ones, but it can be something that we all aspire to. But when we talk about the SBR model, what we're talking about here is the situation that you're being exposed to. So having a great ability to assess the environment that you're in, and that includes who, are you, who your competitors are, who your team members are, and ultimately the impact of this environment in terms of how you choose your behavior. And so the B in the model stands for behavior. And this is where we use our DISC profiling. The reality is, is that people do prefer to behave in certain ways. But given the environment that they're exposed to, it means that we have to make choices as to whether this behavior or this behavior or this one or this one, whatever the behavior is, is going to give you a better result. And so the final part of the model stands for result. Now, the result, obviously, before perhaps we are exposed to a situation, behave in a certain way, we need to consider, well, what result do we want? You know, if we use an example of a coach here, if a coach is having an interaction with one of their um, athletes and they're trying to give them some feedback, you know, how does a coach ensure that they deliver the feedback, that it positively improves the athlete's performance, but they do it in such a way that the athlete's self-esteem and self-confidence is intact? And so, based on that situation, whether it's half-time in a game, a timeout, or perhaps just a training session, the behaviour the coach chooses will be different depending on what that situation is and also the athlete that they're interacting with. It's not acceptable for us as either athletes or coaches to simply behave on autopilot. And that is to just do behaviours which, whilst they may come naturally and instinctively to us, but we do them with very little thought for our situation, the people in it, the environment that we're in, and ultimately with an aim to always achieving the best possible outcome. The final aspect to this model is once we achieve a result, what we see far few coaches for that matter and far few athletes doing is actually assessing and evaluating the result that they achieve and that's reflection. And so to complete the learning process and the learning cycle, we need to take time to evaluate the result that we achieved and to look back on the one thing that we have most control over and that's not the situation but instead the one aspect that we have complete control over is our own behaviour. Which is once again where we come back to the foundation of DISC because DISC is all about developing self-awareness and when people understand themselves well and they have this necessary self-awareness, they're able to make better choices. And from a DISC model, the choices we have available, should I behave like a D? Is that going to work, given the situation that I'm in and the result that I'm looking to achieve? Or should I perhaps behave like an I, the more interactive style? Or should I behave like an S? Or should I behave like a C? And so ultimately, being able to choose what we do enables us to get better results. And once again, going back to what we spoke about at the very beginning, this is what adaptability is.